Good morning, YouTube. I'm back in my potato hauler truck, farm truck, and uh, about to go pick up some potatoes. And this truck has that going on. So, uh, yeah, these new trucks have their issues. So, uh, I guess this one's going to be down. I guess that's why they bought two of them, so if one goes down, there's another one. I'll get back to you when I'm out there doing something. So this is bulk loading potatoes. They got these inserts in these reefers, and they got this conveyor belt. As you can see, brings them up. All right, this moves side to side and up and down and in and out. And we'll fill this whole trailer up. With them, and then it's it's got a belt for it if we're unloading. Oh yeah, it's kind of coming like that, and there they are over there unloading ones from the field. Oh yeah, I'm in the other truck now since that one derated on me. They're getting it worked on today though. So this is part of uh, the potato stuff. I don't know if you guys find this interesting or not, but I do. I like watching the red potatoes go down the belt. I'll be back. Just a couple potatoes in here. Just finished loading up, just letting the belt run out. But uh, yeah, that should be 50, 55,000 pounds worth of potatoes. Pretty cool. Well, I guess I'm glad that it's not mine, but yeah, this has an air leak. I gotta find pretty good one too. I won't even air up. So I guess I'm gonna go looking for it. So here's one of the cab overs that's out here. Old white freight liner. This one's old. got some damage to it unfortunately it was in better shape last time i was here i like the coloring on it the striping but yeah it's jacked up pretty good what do you guys think of this one neat truck so i'm sitting here Went to pick up another trailer and the brakes are locked up, valves leaking. So I'm waiting on someone to bring me from WD-40 or something to see if I could get the valve released and if I got enough pressure if it would uh, release the brakes. But I tried rocking it back and forth, but they're just locked up. So, oh well, just got to wait on people. trailer I can't get fixed so I dropped it there they're gonna have to call someone out it's got uh, the valve on the front of the air tank on the trailer is leaking I, could, I tried lubing it up and actuating the brakes and stuff could get the free up so uh, I hooked up to a different one they got there uh, I'm headed back to the farm now uh, unfortunately I don't know if you guys can hear that, but this truck's leaking air now. So, uh, gotta figure that out. It's not leaking enough to lose on the gauge like the truck's maintaining the pressure. But, uh, definitely something that's gotta look at. So, all these trucks are having, uh, trucks and trailers are causing a lot of troubles this year. So, uh, I'm sure I'll be working on this later. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Texas. It's not even 90. Uh, uh, yeah. From about five miles out from the farm. So I'll catch you guys later.
that's a West Texas sunset. That's the nice thing about West Texas is all the dust makes great sunsets. But thought I'd share that with you guys. Hey YouTube, I'm back. We're gonna do some bulk loads today, hopefully, which is cool. These old 378 peats are kind of neat. Or cat power, 15 speeds. Uh, and they'll drag me through the fields with them too, which is uh, always makes for some good content. So I'll get back to you when I'm out there. So a little complaint session here. So uh, one of the bobtail trucks, uh, the low pressure switch for the buzzer was leaking through it. So uh, it was still yard drivable, so I didn't want to down the truck. And I, so I was like, well, I'll just go to Peterbilt. Well, Peterbilt's an hour and a half away from where I am. So I drive there, give the numbers. They give me a switch. I go back, I go to install it. And it's the wrong switch. So then I go to a parts store that's closer, trying to find one now that I have it out. And they're trying to sell me an AC low pressure switch, convincing me that it would be the right pressure. So, if you're a parts person and you don't know what you're talking about, don't try. Um, that's in my complaint section. YouTube. It's Monday morning. This video is taking a while to make. It's been kind of weird. Like the market's low for potatoes, so they're going kind of slow on them. So I haven't had a whole lot to film. But this morning, let me show you. I just paid a service call to come out to fix this. First time I jump in, it it's back on. So I'm gonna have to take this over to Plain View. But that truck. I went to go move it and the battery switch was turned off. I turned it off and it's completely dead. So uh, I need to go jump it off and move it. I don't know why I drained the battery with the battery switch off. I mean, it should have nothing between the battery and that, but it did. How dead this truck is, this is gonna take a little bit of time. My truck had no power at all, so. I don't know, probably need another 10 minutes, 15 minutes of charging. And that truck's in D-rate mode and I need to get it about an hour away. It's got a three hour clock, so if this doesn't start in the next 20 minutes, then I'm just gonna take this and this is just gonna have to stay here until I get back. But uh, yeah, that's how this morning's going. So I don't understand how this truck's batteries ended up dead with the battery switch that comes straight off the battery was turned off but it was so this truck in my mind of time is different when i left the yard about 25 minutes ago i said i had three hours and i immediately went down to two and now it is uh one hour I still got 40 minutes to go, so I hope it doesn't hit D-rate mode before I get there, but uh, it may, so it's a pretty day though, it uh, hasn't hit 90 yet, and uh, it's amazing how green it is out here this year, usually it's all brown by this time of year, but uh, yeah, that's all I got going on trying to get this to the mechanic before it goes in a D-rate mode. Well, picking up another trailer. Dropped one and picking up another bulk trailer. I got a little bit of time. So I thought I'd walk back here. Check out that old Piggly Wiggly or Piggy, Piggy Bank Service. Santa Fe. Cool old trailer. But 
this back here, well, I wanted to come back here. Let's see what this is about. Oh, it might not be on their land. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. Nope, it's not on their land. I guess I can't get a better look at it than here. There's an old train star. Pretty cool truck though. So, I guess I'm going back to the truck. Thought I was going to show you something cool, but I guess not. So, it's hot anyways. It's 107. I don't know what the heat index what it is, but 107 is hot no matter what. So, I'm about done for the day. I actually just got to go to where I stay with the truck and trailer and I can park there tonight. So, I'll be done in a half hour. So, I don't know what to do. I guess I should wrap this video up here since it's uh, kind of been a while since I posted. I haven't done much exciting stuff. Well, today I actually did. The dang trailer had a bad airbag. Figured out after I loaded it. So I had to change an airbag out on a loaded trailer. And that's always fun. But, uh, but yeah. Oh yeah, that's that K100 again. We'll look at that next time we're here. So. Oh yeah. I'll go until there's something better to film. In the bobtails today, there's a two Pete 378. So I got to move them over to where they're harvesting. So uh, I'll get a little bit of footage of that. And uh, we'll get on our way. I'm just waiting on air to build now. So uh, I'll be back. So the first one I got out here, I gotta get the other one. I didn't know how to get here, so I was using my GPS. I didn't film much, but I'll film more on the next one. This is kind of interesting. It's all open air processing center. So uh, pretty cool. But yeah, I'm waiting on my ride now. And then uh, I gotta run a shuttle of potatoes to the other farm. And then uh, I'll bring the other bobtail back out here. So. I'll be back. One thing I do like about this truck is it's got the air kingpin release. So you just hold it until it says. Can't do a whole lot once you start it. But then you just pull it. So you don't have to get out of the truck. Pretty nice. This fifth wheel hasn't been here, so it's in the gauge. Just hit it a little harder. A little gauge. Got it that time. Alright, so I'm going to go hook up the lines and go back up to the dock. When the tractor's coming in with a load, so I pull it in. That uh, thing's full of potatoes, and then they go across the scales and from over there. Yeah, wait for them to get out of my way, so I thought I'd show you guys. That's what they pull them off of the field with, is usually a tractor like that. The dolly. That's actually a smaller trailer than usual. I wonder what, I wonder what that is up with that. Usually they're probably about, what, five feet longer? That one's a pretty small one. But pretty neat how they do it. Uh, seems pretty efficient. When they bring the trucks out there, they gotta drag them through the field with a tractor, so that's all in one deal. So. 
we're gonna go back up to the dock. So So I am backing up to that dock, so let's see if I could do this and still have you guys on. when you're backing up and you got a phone in your hand. I've never tried to do that before, but hopefully you guys can see. to the dock so I'm gonna go in and uh, watch them load headed this one out now going down the dirt road hey one thing cool about these trucks they got good jigs good sounding jigs on these old cats fields around me. Out in the country with trucks. Can't beat it. Oh, there's a tractor in. of the trucks now and saw this guy over here nice 379 that might be a 389 yeah 389 looks good with the stacks and the visor but uh oh yeah two trucks are parked here ready for them to drag them through the fields tomorrow so waiting on my ride now uh, I don't know what I got after this. Uh, I guess that shuttle will run properly if they get my truck loaded. So I'll be back. Well, finishing up for today. I got a load of spuds on, but I'm not going to drop them until the morning. I'll have to run the reefer tonight. Uh, it got dark. It's uh, about 9 9.45 now, so. Still got some over there, some uh, sun setting still. Uh, where I'm at is like right on the uh, time zone line. I'm like 15 miles from the New Mexico border. So that's the next time, time zone. So it stays late, pretty late here, which is kind of nice. Well, I got about 10 miles to get home. I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, and I'll catch you up on the next one. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the potato stuff. I know it's not my normal content and I'll get back to that shortly, but uh, this is what I gotta do at the moment to get the cab over back going again, so. Uh, I'm getting pretty excited to work on it again, which is good, so, uh, everything will be good, man.
So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment, share, you know, all that good stuff. It really helps me out. And we have just passed 3,000 subscribers. I'm uh, really excited about that. And I thank all you guys for supporting me and doing this. I love doing this for you guys. And I will continue doing it. So catch you on the next one.